Hi, my Jamaicans.com family. I'm Ashley and Maud, and this is another episode of Reason with Ashley and Maud. <laughs> so every week I go live on this platform to talk to you about trending topics, you know, things that um, have been carried in the media, in the local media, that s- sparked enough debate, public discussion. So, if you're just joining me, um, this is Reason with Ashley and tell me where you're connecting from and tell me your name. If you read the caption before you started the before um, you started watching the live video, you ha- you would have noticed that the topic today is re- is in relation to the statements made by the president of the Jamaica Association of. Re- let me get it right. So it's the Jamaica Association for the Resettlement of Returning Residents. I believe his name is Percival Latouche. And basically what he's saying um, following the, the killing of three Jamaicans who returned to the island for, um, to, to live, he's basically saying that returning residents are targeted. I don't know, and I want you guys to share your views. Good afternoon, Sky. I want you guys to tell me exactly how you feel about that statement. Um, I can give you some facts. So in the last, um, in the last, since the start of the year, I should say, approximately 12 returning residents, returning residents um, have been killed in the island. Um, Most recently, we heard of the killing of a woman in St. Mary, another woman in in St. Elizabeth, and another one in Hanover, right? Um, The security minister and other ministers have come out uh, to respond to Mr. Latouche's statement to say that Jamaican Jamaican returning residents are not targeted. Um, That would be... That's a broad brush um, characterization of what is happening. Instead, we're recognizing that there is an issue, right? And we're looking to address that issue. Um, He also mentioned that to make that statement would seem as if uh, criminal elements are looking out to looking out to, to, to do bad or do evil towards um, returning residents. Let me know because I know many of you guys are Jamaicans, um, Jamaicans who may have reservations about returning to the island, even for now, for the Christmas season. Um, I, have a, I have many Jamaican family members in the US, in the UK, um, in other parts of the world, in Canada, who are a bit apprehensive when they come to the island, when they they visit the island. And I want to know if that is your experience. I'm going to share my views on the topic, but I want to hear from you first. Rowan says, I do think they are targeted to a point. They are very naive as they think Jamaica is the same Jamaica they left and their trust and their actions lead to their demise. Rohan, you have some solid points sharing. And if you're just joining the conversation, we're talking about returning residents. Yeah, so today um, we're discussing the topic that, well, the debate that has been... um, developing in the public space in the local space with regards to statements made by the president of the jamaica association for the resettlement of returning residents um so basically he's saying that returning residents to jamaica should be careful because they are targeted and um once you're returning resident returning resident there's like if if he had any control over what is happening now or if he was i think in one statement he said that he wouldn't return to the island he which he 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 never had returned to jamaica karen says yes because it makes me don't want to come back christopher says they should make judge a peace ambassador i still talk about would guys did you see that he was released one day early I really think that he wasn't, I feel like he was out before Friday, but we'll hear, we'll hear. He was welcomed. I, but I don't want to digress. I just big up Buja Banton. I know many of you have been following it on Instagram, on Facebook, all over um, in, in, um, in the media. But let's get back to the topic today. Danielle says she a- absolutely agrees with Christopher's statement. 
Does anyone disagree? Does anyone believe that re um, returning residents to the island are targeted? Do, 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 you, do you in any way disagree with that statement? Sharon says, I will visit and will not stop, but will not come back to live. Why, Sharon? Why won't you come back to live? Clement says, targeted for what? Well, that's a good point, Clement, because um, basically what I've been reading, the incidences are stemmed from domestic disputes, um, whether it's over property, or family property or the property of the of the um of the returning resident or it seems as if my video oh it's stopped freezing or it's some love affair situation keisha says but shouldn't should be should being naive lead to murder no i don't think so keisha she says there must be other factors we're not talking about here i visit often and have never felt unsafe but i'm just one person tracy says i agree with you heather says too much killing i'll address that soon heather marlette says police told me that i don't pay tax in jamaica i told him i told him all the money i spend i send to jamaica benefit the country every society recognize this only Jamaica shy away from the fact and Nala said one love Jamaica one love where are you guys connecting from by the way I want to know so if you're just joining us because I see quite a number of people coming in and just share continue to share your love continue to share your likes um, continue to share this video and let us have a discussion about it are returning residents targeted that is the conversation that we're having today and we really want to dissect the issue Clement asked the question targeted how 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 tell me um do you feel targeted if you are a jamaican who um recently decided to to return to the island or have intentions or visit the island regularly do you feel targeted when you visit um Fitzroy says, killing is a worldwide thing. I don't believe they are targeted. No one knows the reason why those 12 people died. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. There are just speculations. I want to be, I want to agree with what you're saying, Fitzroy. Clement says, if you leave unfinished issues and have issues, they will come back to haunt you. Judy, Judy says, Bronx, New York. Big up Bronx, New York. Marvis says, um, Mavis says, most, 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 if it's checked out, is either families or workers. So it's unkind for Latouche to say that's still, still not giving up on my country. Mavis, I'm going to share my views pretty quick. Uh, Bob says, uh, Canada, Mr. Latouche is one of the most loyal and patriotic Jamaican ever. He have the facts, something drastic needs to be done. Okay, something drastic needs to be done about what? Tell me, specifically. I want us to dissect the issue because Mr. Latouche from the Jamaica Association of Resettlement for Returning um, Residents is saying or claiming that returning residents are targeted. Um, Sharon says returning residents want to have a nice place to live and not feel like they are in prison in our own country. And rightly so. I feel not only returning residents, Jamaicans overall want to live, work, do business and raise family in a safe place. We're, um, yeah. Heather says New York. Fitzroy says I visit every year and I will be returning very soon. I hope you're coming for Christmas. And Marie says, let's unpack it in all of its context. Everyone is a target, but foreigners are most vulnerable to hard-hearted criminals. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Uh, are you saying, therefore, Anne-Marie, that once you recognize or you're identified as a foreigner, you are targeted? In Jamaica, Clement says, as with every place, robbery is always a problem. Heather says, Bronx, you're in Bronx. Marshall Lee is in Maryland. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. All of these people connecting from all over the world. Jackie says, don't think they're targeted. Jamaica is somewhat lawless. Wow, people can get away with whatever. Who knows? Sometimes it's their same people from abroad setting them up. That is what 
Jackie just said. All right. Paulette says, I don't feel targeted, but I built my house. They broke in it. Even the doors are gone. Them can't stop me or put fear in me. Rightly so. Rightly so. No one can drive fear in me. No, if you can't, to me, if you can't breathe, if you can't, how do I say no? Give me breath. <laughs> You can't drive fear in me. Lobby says they need to bring back the hanging and the nine lashes. Lobby, you can deal with nine lashes. I don't, I don't believe in um, corporal punishment. I don't know. For some reason, I don't believe in that. Clement says, I'm not from Jamaica, but is from, but I'm from the Caribbean. Okay. Christopher says, you're in Jersey and you love Jamaica. I love Jamaica too. All right. So for you guys who are just joining, we're talking about statements made by the president of the Jamaica Association for the Resettlement of Returning Residents. He basically stated that Jamaican, well, the returning residents are targeted. My views, if you're going to say that returning residents are targeted, every single jamaican living working doing business in the island is targeted because i'm pretty sure unless in some way that person identifies themselves as somebody who has spent a considerable number of years outside of the country you're not going to know that he or she is a returning resident right unless that person makes it known to them so are you therefore saying and 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 further to what i'm saying before I, before i continue and further to that there are so many other issues i think Anne marie stated it that we need to unpack when we are making assessments into our crime situation case in point the incidents, if you check local media and if you check the reports of these killing, more than, more than half of the 12, the report details some domestic affair. How is it then that we can say that Jamaican returning residents are targeted in the island when Possibly, and I don't like to be absolute, but approximately 50% of those cases are stemming from domestic issues. Not issues, ex um, not issues uh, relating directly to the crime situation in Jamaica, no, but internal, about the, what happened in the person's life. How is it then you're going to use those cases to make a broad brush statement about returning residents in jamaica and i'm so passionate about this topic because and i'll continue reading some of your thoughts um and keep them coming i feel as if jamaicans are the first people they're first people to speak poorly about our country and about our people and if you think i'm being um one-sided or bass please let me know but i rarely see unless we are celebrated internationally jamaicans come out and say no man no man and in my country that are let me help to solve this issue you know I, I, I feel as if we need to put up more street lights i feel as if we need to strengthen our citizens our neighborhood watch associations i feel like what why is it that before we exude or display or share information um, about Jamaica, we don't do a bit of fact checking to verify. I'm not in any way, and I hope you guys understand this, I'm not in any way discrediting um, the fact that crime, the reports that, that crime is a serious monster in jamaica the reports um weekly reports detail that you understand it perfectly details that and helps help us to better understand that we have a serious issue when it comes to crime but tell me a country in the world that doesn't and an argument sake let's even bring it further let's talk about where these returning residents are coming from they are returning from places that 
aren't crime free they aren't you understand so i think it is poor on us to actually take that broad brush approach and for mr latouche to take that broad brush approach to say that returning residents are targeted what are you saying to international media what are you putting out there you understand what are you how are you how are you best addressing the issue because that is what i don't like as well what are you doing to address the issue okay okay you hold the view that returning residents are targeted what are you doing to address that issue as the president of the um association for the resettlement of returning residents look here now i re you are helping them to resettle in the island you know how you address it let me take some of your comments um Marlis, marlene said we need to teach jamaican but their roots of how or how we fought fought for our freedom and how gratitude honesty and courage is the backbone of your roots Clement said, remember lots of people rob their own family members to travel exactly and don't keep up their own end of the bargain let us talk about the issues what led to the murder what led to the rape what led to the you understand um ramona said that same thing happened to me the guy said me look like me live in an ac <laughs> all right john says brooklyn it's a lot of jealousy and hate if god is for you no one can be against you jamaica crime rate is, crime rate is too high too many people dead when when return to build the dream home love jamaica but it's a gris disgrace to my home where are you living where are you living john because i'm pretty sure somebody where you're living could possibly say the same thing about where you are living i feel as if crime is not is not crime the crime issue is not limited to jamaica jamaica is not a is is not a unique case when it comes to crime and 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 um crime in all shapes and and, and forms right i think and, and 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 not only think i know i know based on reports based on um primary sources that crime is rampant in other spaces you understand and i, I don't want to get into the space of comparing what type of crime take place in Jamaica versus what type of crime take place and crime is crime to me you know I don't see it any other way and you can correct me if I'm wrong but I do not feel it is fair to make a broad brush statement that returning residents or even visitors to the island are targeted when you have so many other cases not only jamaica but elsewhere of people being killed over property you understand i think it's so unfair for us to make those broad brush statements right without really dissecting the issue and as i said before i'm not discrediting the fact that crime is evident in jamaica we have an issue but what are we doing to address that issue before we make the statement that don't go to Jamaica, stay where you're there, because where you're there, safer than Jamaica. Maxine says the evidence, the evidence, I missed that one. Oh, okay, there it is. The evidence is there, but nothing won't change. And why you believe that, Maxine? Why you believe that? Why don't we talk about Bujabantan? Avis, Bujabantan arrived in the island um yesterday and he's looking really well <laughs> but we're talking about the returning residents today because i know quite a number of you guys are return well um are jamaicans living overseas who may be considering coming back to the yard right and we need to look at it do you feel as if you're going to be uncomfortable in your community when you return and what make you feel so why why would you feel uncomfortable um and mary says we can't turn a blind eye to what is obvious crime is an issue in jamaica and, and and has to be looked at from all angles and not just one dimensional and that is what i'm saying definitely we need to look at this crime issue but why is it that our assessment of the crime issue is this crime is rampant in jamaica don't go really 
I have seen due to the the, 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 the rampant are, are the targeting, let me say that now, the targeting of black men in, 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 in America, I have seen the birth of the Black Lives Matter campaign, where many of our fellow Jamaicans rally behind, you understand, until it reached to a point now where the government, the US government, have to recognize that um, the advocacy, advocacy that's coming out of, out of, that crime issue. What make we as Jamaicans can't take that approach before we say no, don't go to Jamaica, before we put down with people, before we make broad brush statements, negative statements about our country. I don't agree with, I cannot agree with anyone who will say that a set of people are targeted in Jamaica. At the end of the day, and I think somebody said it, um, there is a bit of naivety when it comes to um to, to, to some Jamaicans and not only returning residents. Oh, I used to go there. I used to be able to walk um late at night in the country. And no, I used to leave my door open. Do you leave your door open where you are now? I'm pretty sure at night. Do you leave it open at night? I'm pretty sure you don't. And I'm pretty sure you're advised not to. Is it because where you are isn't on isn't safe? I don't think it's fair. If I want, I want you guys to understand. I don't think it's fair to to, to come to the to 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 the to to the conclusion that Jamaica is an unsafe place and it's even more unsafe for returning residents. I don't think so. I feel it's very unfair to make that statement. Paulette Blair says, one of my co-workers asked me if Jamaica is really that bad. I told her Guyana and Trinidad is worse than Jamaica and no one talking about it. Oh, by the way, that's a Jamaican thing to do. <laughs> Paulette, you said it right. I have friends in Guyana. I have friends in Trinidad. I have friends in St. Lucia. I have, I have friends in other Caribbean countries. And let me tell you something. You see, before my Trinidadian, friend tell, my Trinidadian friends tell me that crime is rampant in their, in their country, they say, girl, if you want to get the best experience as a tourist or you want to enjoy carnival, you need to come to Trinidad. They are always selling their country to me. Boy, Jamaica nice, but... The food is not as nice as Trinidad. They are always selling their country to me. Why we can't sell the country to other people before we, and, 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 and not, not, not ignore the issues that are present because we have several issues that are present, right? Before we ignore them, why we don't help to resolve those issues? Start with our own families. These incidents, as I said to you, if you read the reports, at least 50% of these incidents are stemmed from domestic disputes. And if you look into it, in, look into it carefully, right, some matter of neglect, some matter of sweeping things under the, under the table, sweeping things under the rug took place. And because of that now, you come back with this hairy fairy um, persona, hairy fairy perception, of, 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 of the people who you once put your trust in and them 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 uh it turns out not to be true i think it's about time that we try to to, to, to. why i started live well jamaica and live well jamaica is my blog you can check it out livewellja.com it's bias bad but let me tell you why it bias it bias because it only focus on positive things in jamaica because you know what you know what positive in things that that are happening in the island they don't get that much publicity 
12 returning residents being 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 killed in the space of in the space of 11 months that gets more publicity than 12 Jamaican students receiving funding for the entire um for their entire school term 12 Jamaicans being awarded for their contribution to international peace will not go viral as 12 Jamaicans being killed and uh, Jamaicans I share it first I don't like Twitter because Twitter Jamaican Twitter to a large extent and I don't want to be absolute to a large extent only focus on the negative part only the negative part of Jamaica. Why? Why can't we be a part of the solution? So when Mr. Latouche is going to say, as the president of an association that 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 clearly um states that states their mandate to be a a, a body that assists returning residents to resettle in the island. You're going to come out and make a statement that returning residents are targeted by look like your organization has failed them. And please tell me if I'm wrong. I'm going to read some more of your comments. Um, Bevan says, the thing is, they think foreign money is strong and they will always target them. Look at what happened in Portmore yesterday at the monogram. The family of the security guard is now mourning. Bevan, please tell me what happened in Portmore. I did not get that. I did not see that report. Clement says, hope they catch hope they catch the killers and the criminals really say why it ended like that. That is what I hope. I hope they definitely catch a killer and I hope that the killer gets a full term and is and is and, 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 and it's brought to justice. Marley says I still care for the one hundred thousand murders in two thousand nine and need answers. Me too. Marlene says, you're mixing apples with oranges. I want, to ex I want you to explain um, what you mean, Marlene. How am I mixing, how am I mixing uh, unlike, unlike things? Lover Lover says, Lover Lover? Lover Lover says, we the people have to clean it up. We cannot wait on the government to do it. And you see, me, my, my, um, my perception on this is that it's a collaborative effort. So yes, it it really doesn't matter because if you re, if you're if you're studying, you'll know that the people the people is a very important component of the government. There cannot be a government without the people. So if the people start the process, if the government start the post process, it no matter. But if you are able to help to address some of the issues in Jamaica, then I think you should before you complain. Sasha says, sorrow and pain and murder trumps a happy story in all countries. Um, exactly. Exactly. Please look at what is happening in France right now. Please look at, uh, at what is happening in Paris right now. Um, Christopher says, there was an attempted robbery at a monogram in Portmore, which left a security guard dead. I'm so sorry to hear about the death of that security guard. Um, Maxine says, him shot the security and don't get nothing senseless killing and you see that is my thing let us look at that um where did that stem from how did that happen why did we um why why did our government why did our law enforcers allow the situation to escalate to that where we have senseless killings why is it that we know of crimes being taken place and we don't report them why bevan says they went to rob money okay okay so i read this one already i won't be here for long um this i i, I think we just for me i'm not saying and i will not say that we do not have an issue when, when in terms of crime or as crime is concerned but I think we have to be fair in our assessment that is what I am saying right um, 
Mr. Morgan, I can't pronounce your first name, says the Portmore murder of the security guard is all over the news and you don't know about it. Shake my head. Don't. That's terrible. And I don't know about it. My apologies. I got in late last night and yeah, yeah, it flew over my head. I was following Buja Banton. Sorry. <laughs> when I say the people, they need to stop embarrassing embarrassing these criminals clement says in this day and age these people know that they don't move around outside of jamaica with cash so stop the cash handling use cards ah see there solutions i'm pretty sure in america you don't walk around with three thousand us most of it is on your card as a matter of fact some places them say do you have a card they, they even have some of the, the apps now where you don't even have to bring your own cards. You, the, the card is connected to the app and you just use your, your phone to make purchases. Um, Polly says there's a problem in Canada and they send for Jamaican police to clean up the place. Paulette, you understand what I'm saying. And as I, I, I have to reiterate, I am not saying that Jamaica doesn't have a crime problem. See, you guys mentioned to me that the incident with the, the, with the security guard in Portmore, very unfortunate and very common. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there are more people online right now um, condemning Jamaica, Jamaicans and the Jamaican government rather than finding solutions. See, who said it? Go, go cashless. Go, I have friends when they visit the island, the most they have in their pocket is probably five thousand dollars. Everything else is um, they use card. Card Sasha says, statistically, per 100,000 Jamaica 41 people murdered. Um, all right. U.S. five people murdered, Afgan Afghanistan six people murdered, Jamaica worse than a war zone. Interesting, Sasha. Where the where did you get that statistic? Um, Marlene says you guys are trying to minimize the fact that returning residents are being targeted and killed, so it can't be equated with other happenings. Everything has to be taken on a case by case basis. So, I agreed with your the latter part of your statement, Marlene. Everything has to be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. I think Clement said earlier, targeted for what? What led to the murder? You understand? What, what are the issues? Why aren't we contextualizing it? Why aren't we trying to, after contextualizing it, look for solutions? Because we don't care. That is how I see it, you know. I see it as, you know what? Jamaica is a horrible place and that's why I left in the first place because I have been a victim of crime and I'll never return to that island. I'm never going to encourage people to, to go there. And I'm not belittling some of the things that um, Jamaicans go through um, who were victims of crime. So it, 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 it's horrible. You understand? Some of the stories are horrible and horrific and we really have a serious crime problem. But to say, to go to the extent that a and say that a particular set set of people are targeted purely because they've spent some time outside of the island i think it's it's a broad brush and untruth statement when you don't consider the other circumstances that led to their unfortunate death bob says i'm accusing you of blind loyalty to jamaica my dear and a refusal to face the facts how am i not facing the facts Homer, help me to understand because I clearly pointed out that I do agree that there is a crime issue in Jamaica. So how am I not facing the fact? Am I not facing the fact that, that, that what Mr. Latouche says is correct? What he says, I do not believe it's correct. I do not. Donna says, bring back the bad policeman as commissioner. Which bad policeman? <laughs> Bevan says, cards only. Cards only. Um, Patsy says, yes, we are targeted. Let us find ways to improve the current situation rather than chop at the bits. We love Jamaica. I have to shop in different supermarkets to avoid being followed around, to buy baby feeding, you name it. Let's find a solution. 
yeah money 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 more than one people saying money why are you saying money lover says sad to say but it is the truth beverly says wow you are too much my parents home and my mother goes back every year for a month crime is is everywhere sis um exactly crime is everywhere i have been in new york um for more than one time and i've been told don't go there at certain times of the hours at certain times of the day sorry at certain hours of the day don't do that be careful and i feel that is that is a general advisory that anyone um doing business would receive you understand there are quote unquote quote unquote volatile areas are areas that needs improvement in every country so i don't want to i don't want to and i will not accept the view that everywhere in a jamaica at a worse place no jamaica is a beautiful island and and for, for for those listening and those watching who believe that jamaica is a beautiful island and there is a solution there and we're not a hopeless case come back come back to jamaica don't let mr latouche dissuade you marlin says the perps assume that the perps that's what he's saying assume that returning residents have a lot of money based on the fact that they build luxurious homes etc and most times they kill and get nothing and that is a f and, and 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 the part where you may okay so let's that's it what you said marlin so marlin you're saying that there's a there's an assumption that returning residents have a lot of money because they build luxurious homes i have i know jamaicans who did not spend who did not live a very um a very long time in the in in, in overseas and they have built luxurious homes right and they are not of the perception that it's because they build luxurious homes that's why they're targeted what they do acknowledge is that there may be people because of how they think may assume that they have money because of how fabulous their homes look and may feel the need to take what is not theirs that's how i look at it in terms of um in terms of looking at the fact that jamaicans on a whole have that perception i can give you a easy example i don't understand why some returning residents when they come to the island they return with an accent and somebody explained it to me earlier um saying well you know actually when you live somewhere for a considerable a considerable number of years your accent will change so you may not sound so jamaican right so you can't say that so all right fine but sometimes you can hear it come off very falsely and i'm like why are you putting on a show why are you doing that why are you seeking attention um by altering your voice in some way and i'm and, and let me just say not everyone do it so that's why i say some there's also the there's a practice with some jamaicans when they return to the island they immediately immediately chastise what is happening now oh you don't um you you guys don't do that uh, you know that's what we do in the states and why why is that type of behavior necessary and don't you believe small thinking people small thinking people looking at what you're saying and looking at how you're behaving may think that you're well off um 
Sasha says that's why they do the statistics based on per 1,000 people. Sasha, I'm going to look into the statistics because this 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 feature and for, if you're just joining me, I'm talking about the statements being made by um, the president of the association, Jamaica Association for the Resettlement of Returning Residents. He said that that returning residents are targeted, and um, and Sasha. Sasha, as I was saying, I will definitely look into your the statistics that you shared with me because I want you guys to, to reason with me, reason it out. I am willing to sh change my views if you can prove to me that they are actually targeted because I don't believe so. Paula laughing, same so it go. Exactly. Same so it go. Why you need to put on ears? Why you need to behave a certain way when you return to the island? Why? You understand why you need to do that? All of a sudden, you can't go look for Miss Betsy again. Because Miss Betsy have to come and visit you at your hotel. Why? Um, Pauline says, but that doesn't give them the right to rob you. It doesn't give anybody the right. It doesn't. But I'm, I'm helping to understand some of the, how, how they perceive, how they think. You understand? Lover say, if you're well off, that means they have the right to rob or kill you. No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. You understand? Back to what I'm saying. Why is it that some returning residents, before they return to the island, they have a one cousin, or they have a one, one sister, who they never to trust when they leave Jamaica, right? Who is now living in the island. Um, they decide to hand over whatever money or allow them to do their business do business for them on their behalf why are you going to do that you understand why would some returning residents do that and then when they come to the island the same person when you were in jamaica you wouldn't even make them take care of your pitney run off with your money nothing that you had asked that person take care of or um was taken care of or if even if they did it wasn't done properly so what what do you think change that is what i don't understand you understand why well, I, and i think clement made the statement that it's 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 a it's the, that behavior can be characterized as being naive um Cherry says, speak on the issues, but it is not a logical reason or there is one for killing a human. Me, I'm even in coronation market, no fear. I dress down as much as possible and blend in. Holla to them. And I'm not saying that all returning residents are like this, guys. <laughs> I'm not. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> but there are, there are some characteristics there are some things that are just you understand you guys and when i say you guys some returning residents them just make it obvious that them come back for a firing mm. miss lu said no look at one them have enough to hang me sasha says to avoid the feeling of walking on eggshells the minister is advising just don't go back which minister which minister is advising that Sasha? Because I'm sure the last that the last report I read, um, the minister, the security minister, is that is is noting that we definitely have a crime issue, and we're looking to find solutions. Karen says, "I am a roots, I am rootsy, and will remain a rootsy person." Nadine says, "It's not a joke for killing. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was actually speaking about." Um, what I believe um, is a foolish behavior of some returning residents to put on airs when they return to the island. That's why I laughed. I'm not laughing about what happened. People being killed is not funny. But people misrepresenting Jamaica, that's not funny either. I don't find it funny. I don't find it funny. I don't find it. I don't see the merit in it. If you can tell me honestly, Ashley, I don't want to return to the island because this incident happened to my family and I'm not going to dissuade anyone from not returning to the island but I personally will not return. I completely understand. 
and I will actually encourage you if you feel so strongly to stay where you feel safe right but to go to the extent to say yo you know forgot Jamaica the other day them the whole of the you have to call the whole the, you have to call it say, the whole of my community that die, die out be a crime don't go there without really assessing what led to the death or what led to whatever crime crime issue or even making an effort to find out what's wrong and how you can help there are so many jamaicans who if given the right access if given access to education if given access to skills training can turn them life around crime is a monster that we create mm -hmm. crime is a monster that we create Bob says don't worry Ashley many of us are just as blindly loyal to Jamaica as you are and nothing will keep us away from yard um, I don't know if I'm blindly loyal because I call I feel as if I call a spade a spade so I am not discrediting the fact that Jamaica has a crime issue I don't I can tell you I don't travel um, I, I'm very particular in the type of transport I take at certain hours of the day right so I understand what you're saying Bob so I'm not going to say that I myself do not um, be cautious about what I do but I'm not going to dis discredit Mr. Morgan said blind commitment look here oh one nationality the palm um palm passport it named jamaican and i i don't think i'll ever change that madeline says i don't go anywhere but my mother veranda i am scared as hell when i'm there wow wow and you know it's it's sad it's sad because if you ask some people why it is that you don't when you come to the island and you don't leave home or you don't leave the hotel where you're staying it's based on media reports it's based on hearsays it's sad because the, the, it's not a complete picture that you're getting and then somewhere where you would normally enjoy or some some things that you would normally enjoy doing while you're in the island you're you're refrained from doing it because of that same fear it's sad um lover says if you're not in that position you you'll not fully understand i've had family members who returned to the island and they were killed most recently i am um, one of my one of my uncles one of my i call him my uncle because he's older than me but he's actually one of my older cousins he was killed by a group of i would call them criminal elements yeah um but when we really dissected the issue there was an ongoing rift between himself and the, the said um the said group of people say group of, of young men so and when it happened I it really knocked me off my socks I felt just as all some of you guys feel when you hear of the killing I don't want to go back and it took me a while to say Ashley think about it and I said you know what before I say I'm going to turn my back on my community this signals that I need to return in my community I need to go back I need to find some way to help my community so that we can restore peace in my community and even if it's going to start with only me I'm going to do it so for you to say that I don't know and I don't fully understand I'm quite aware um, Clement says why was he killed you see issues unfinished that's what I'm saying. When I heard of his killing, it was, it was, I, I learned of it. I learned of, that was so horrific for me. I learned of his killing on Facebook. I was scrolling through Facebook and, um, 
I saw someone, and I think this is so insensitive, I saw someone write R.I.P. And I'm like, R.I.P.? He's one of, he's somebody who usually love to watch my live videos. And he would, just like so you guys love to comment and so, he would always comment and he always say, big up cause, stuff up. So it kind of weird to see it. And I thought he was very, he was very, um, he was a comedian. You understand? Love to run jokes. I thought it was a prank. But then I saw more people doing it. And I messaged, I sent a message to one of my cousins. And I said, what, what, what is that? I, see on, I think I screenshot it and sent it in a message. And his response was, he died. They killed him this morning at a dance. Just like that. I don't think he was in the island for more than five years. So I'm not going to say that... It does not affect me. You understand? And I'm not going to, to discredit how you genuinely feel it. I, I, I'm saying it. If you genuinely feel that where you are, you're safe and your family is safe. And you don't think you will ever return to the island. That's really up to you. But allow another man to make him decision. You understand? Allow another man to come to them own decision and not be dissuaded by whatever you're going to say lover lover says i as i said before the communities embrace these criminals and it start there we're talking about context now exactly why do we have people in the communities who embrace these criminals why would not turn them over to the authorities why aren't we doing that Paula says, some people talk like that because they have no ties to the island. Exactly. Exactly. So it matters not what they say about Jamaica, right? And that's sad. Um, Nadine says, well, nowhere is safe. Exactly. That is exactly what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Bob says, sorry for your loss. My heart felt cond condolences. Thank you, Bob. Um, Madeline says, It's sad after leaving for 39. I would like to return to live one day, but too much murders. I myself is bu building a house there, but now I am thinking twice. Madeline, my recommendation to you, just ensure you make smart decisions and you do research. I, um, in anything that I'm doing, I remember earlier this year, I had a trip to Panama and I was I was told when I go to Panama I have to be careful of several things and before I left for Panama this was the first time I was going to Panama I did extensive research on where I was going extensive research on the where I was staying who I was going to meet let me tell you something at the end of the day you are in, in control of your life and it makes it adds no value to your life experience um when or, or, or just overall you do not you learn harder when you act naive so look here that i visited panama with an informed with information about what to do and where to do and, I, and and even when I got to the island when I even when I got to the country I still continue to do my research because remember you're not going to get everything um, from secondary sources from primary sources so before I went out on the street I'm like okay I want to go and get some 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 food to eat and where should I go and they said all right don't it, do, go there and go here and here's a good place and but ensure you're back by this time this is the cab that you can call um when you're ready ensure you you walk with with you don't go alone stuff like that you understand where's the best place to go and shop okay here's a good place to shop but you know by night time it's not so safe it's as simple as that it's as simple as that some of the returning how is it that i'm sorry to, to 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 cut you but how is it that you have um people traveling all the different parts of the world places where they're very, very um full of crime very volatile yet them still have wonderful experiences 
I have a Jamaican friend in Paris right now. She just did a photo shoot. Photo shoot. <laughs> in all of what is happening, she did a photo shoot. But she ensured that she took all the necessary security precautions. Rohan said, I honestly think we're making issues and trivializing the issue. I've been a victim of crime when I visited. People should be free to enjoy themselves and move about as they please and build what they want to build. And I totally agree with you. But until as a, as a globe, we confront and we come to terms and we identify solutions to crime, then unfortunately we will have to make provisions and precautions and preparations to ensure that we are safe and we're protected nadine says i heard mexico is bad i hear that too nadine but i want to visit um paris is a completely different context to jamaica okay i can't i disagree I disagree with you. Garfield says bad man was made in Jamaica. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure pretty of, a, a number of you um, understand where I'm coming from. And Di Diana says it is sad how this negativity is putting fear in our hearts. But the evil is everywhere. We just have to be very careful. And most of the time if we investigate all of this has to do with familiarity. Clement says, innocent killing is different from putting yourself in place for it to happen. I would say, I would say, um, just overall, let us see if we can look into some of these issues and see how best we can propose solutions. As I mentioned before, one of the things that I... And what I'm saying, Santos, when you say Paris equal government versus people and Jamaica versus people, the people versus people, whatever is happening, whatever is happening is still causing harm to the people, right? And what I'm saying, even if in Paris, the issue is with the government and the people. And if you study history, you know that France has always had um is always confronted with that issue if it is that we are prepared now to dissect the issue and see how best we can either lobby if it's a government versus people issue or putting mechanism solutions if it's a people versus people to ensure that people can live and live safely and enjoy the best quality of life then we should that is what i'm saying so i don't i will make reference to paris because right now as i said there there is rampant there's rampant protests and there's rampant prote protest that is affecting the quality of life of residents and 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 visitors to the um to the country so i am going to make reference to it i'm going to you understand and it's and while that is not the case in jamaica you will say that is not the case we still have issues that we can dissect and that we can identify solutions we need to come out of the and i think we need to move forward by stop misrepresenting our country and before we say something negative about it come up with solutions if we're not coming up, if we're not a part of the solution then you're part of the problem that's how i'm seeing it rupert says i'll never tell anyone not to come back to jamaica and i'm positive i love jamaica more than many persons who are born there and i always give back and i will never please do not don't play okay let me read everything that you're saying rupert i always give back and i'll never stop but we have to be careful not to give people the wrong impression. Jamaica is nice, but we have a lot to do to make sure that Jamaica is truly safe. Please do not downplay it. Please do the research and give an evidential report. Let us not trivialize people's loss of life by a very bad mind persons who are willing to buy the hands that feed them. And I'm in, in no way trivializing the death um, and the killing of, 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 uh, of returning residents. I'm no way doing that. What I'm saying before we make 
if before we we make assessments of the issue before we state or describe the country to other spaces to other people in other places ensure that we have ensure that it is balanced because jamaica is not all bad jamaica i do not believe that returning residents are targeted you understand and there are people on this um who are commenting to say that i am not understanding it because i'm not there i have had members of my family who were victims of crime you understand and honestly i was hurt as well i was affected by it but that will not help me to conclude that jamaica is a safe is an unsafe place for returning residents i'm not going to come to that conclusion because i know based on my truth that some of our most of the, every every single issue there was something that led to it and it's not a matter of them being targeted being targeted is not unfamiliar to many of us whom have resided abroad we're just saying it hurts a lot more to be targeted in your land and which is true and that's why for for mr latouche to make that statement that 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 returning residents are targeted i feel it's very unfair because People living overseas, Jamaicans living overseas now, will come to the perception that, hey, if I want to come back to Jamaica, I'm not going to go because they're going to hurt me. If I want to build in Jamaica, build my house in Jamaica, um, or build a home in Jamaica, and return in a few years, I'm not going to do that. It's not safe. But why isn't it safe? And what can we do to ensure that it's a little bit more safe? And are there people who have returned to the island and are enjoying their life in jamaica so is it is it is there come on i feel like we need to find some middle ground in or in the reasoning and as i tell you this is an ongoing debate i am not saying that if it is that you feel safe where you are that you should come back to jamaica i'm not saying that if you feel safe where exactly you are stay but do not be fair in your assessment just be fair in your assessment because jamaica jamaica has a crime issue but jamaica is not the only country with a crime issue joan says france have crime too kim kardashian got robbed in her hotel i want the crime rate down nowhere better than jamaica i love jamaica what's going on is that about jamaica clement says i'm glad he made that statement but what is his solution to find the bottom of them the bottom of the many problems that's a question that's a question i'd love to have a conversation with mr latouche so if any of you are part of the association you can pass on um pass pass it on all right so it was a very 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 intense conversation and i'm very i think bob said that i'm blindly loyal but i love my country i love jamaica I love connecting with my people and I love to find solutions to the issues that we are confronted with, right? I don't have all the solutions, but I do believe in the power of community. So I don't have the solutions, but a group of us to get together can come up with, with solutions. Please share the video. Please continue to share um, your views. We may not share the same views, but I totally appreciate your reasoning with me i think i spent a long time on this topic but it's it, it's dear to my heart because there are so many jamaicans living overseas who would love to come back to the island but because they keep on hearing these reports of how, how of how um horrible are the state of the country the state of of crime in in the country they are dissuaded and I want to use this opportunity to tell you that you can come to Jamaica if you want to come to Jamaica. You can't come to Jamaica. Jamaica is not a bed of roses. And I'm sure you can tell me that wherever you are isn't either. So make your preparations. But Jamaica is still a beautiful country with beautiful people and beautiful experiences to be had. 
all right that's exactly how i'm going to end my live thank you so much thank you bob one love karen thank you for joining thank you it takes a village thank you john thank you john <laughs> all right take care guys and please continue to comment of course i'm going to respond to all of you um and enjoy your saturday with some bujubantam music <laughs>